rise and shine. Today I'm actually doing something that I've wanted to film for a while. I'm gonna do a two hour, three hour, however long it takes me transformation. I guess we'll see at the end. Um, so the reason you guys are kind of far is because I'm actually going to start with my skin, my tanning, which I don't really do self tanning, but let me just get into the video. We'll just jump right into it, but that's what I'm starting with. So the reason I'm gonna tan first um, is because you're supposed to use this first and then you're supposed to shower up to an hour after you apply it so and i do need to shower before i actually get ready but since this requires you to shower beforehand i'm doing this first and then i'll take a break go take a shower and then come back to do the rest of my stuff so this is the tanologist self tan water um this is the medium one i should have got the dark one because this one's honestly not that tan for me because i'm already I'm already pretty like light to medium and this just takes me to like my full medium so yeah I should have got the dark but this is like I think this is like $19 at Target I saw it. you just spray it on I'm gonna do my arms first and just I guess this is how you do it so yeah I do this usually when I have like a nice occasion for like my legs and arms um, because as I was saying, ever since I moved to Texas, I really don't, there's no beach here. And yeah, I have a community pool, but I don't really go to the pool here. And Florida is always hot and you can get a tan just by like walking from to and from your car. And it's hot in Texas too. Don't get me wrong, but like, this is not something I really do all the time at all like this is literally the first and only self tanner i've ever bought so it's cool because you just and the cool thing about this too this isn't sponsored by the way they have these face drops for to tan your face so that's pretty cool all right so that's pretty much you get the idea of it i'm obviously not going to show you guys when i do my legs or my stomach because because it's just not one of those videos. So I just wanted to show you quickly how I'm gonna do this. And that's pretty much what I do all over my body. It's pretty quick. It takes me about 30 minutes to do it because um, I'm not like going ham and or anything. But I just like, like a nice, even, quick tan. So I'm just gonna do what I just did, spray all over. And I will be right back after I shower and then we'll get going with the skincare, makeup, and hair. Okay guys, so I'm back um, as I'm like basically baking. Um, I don't even know if you can tell, but whatever. Um, so it's been about like 20 minutes. So I decided I'm gonna do a mask, a clay mask first before I do my hydrating because this really dries your skin out. And even if I do my regular skincare routine after, it's still so dry. So I feel like if I go in with this first shower, come out, do my skincare routine, and then add this, it'll really leave my skin hydrating and prepped for makeup. So I'm gonna do that, that's what I decided to do. And I love this mask. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Um, again, it's because I work there, so, you know, gotta have it. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this all over. Right now I'm not breaking out too bad. I just want to do this because I figured I'd show you guys what I do when I'm like, when I want to go crazy, when I want to do from head to toes, do a full transformation. So this would definitely be one of them just to clear out my pores, try to get my skin as clean as possible and then go in with my skincare. So I'll go over that, leave this on for 30 minutes and then I'll be right back. I'll actually be right back after I shower and everything. So. So I'm back, I just took a shower and my tan. Um, it's a little more, you know, I told you I should have just got the dark. So I am going to take my, um, not my Kiehl's, what is this? My Skin Medica HA5 Rejuvenating Hydrator. So I'm just gonna put a few pumps of this on. And I did wash my face um, using the Kiehl's Calendula 
face wash in the shower um, after I rinse my mask off. I just use that. And that's a really gentle cleanser. So I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna do my vitamin C, a little bit of this. Just a tiny bit. And this one is like luminous, as you can see. And then I'm going to take the, finally, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sheet mask things. I'm gonna see in there. So this is what it looks like. I don't know which side is which. I guess it doesn't matter. So that is, that is on. I figured out how to unlock it and it's heating up. So I put my hair, I parted it and I, oh, see it's so tangled here. So I um, moved my chair this way because I didn't want it to be in the way when I'm doing my hair. So I just moved. And I'm gonna actually take this mask off now because it's slipping like crazy. So I'm just gonna, oh. rub it all in and then I'm just gonna put a moisturizer on and then we can get started on here my skin's just been super dry so I need as much moisture as possible okay so I'm gonna do my hair I'm really scared to do this I heard it's not hard but I'm still scared I'm so scared. I don't know what it's gonna look like. They say to take bigger sections so it's not so crazy. So I'm just gonna do, split that and do this whole section here. I don't know how to do this though. guys so I did my brows off camera you guys are kind of close but whatever it's fine um, yeah I did my brows um, I'm not gonna talk that much I mean I'll talk but not that much but right now I'm just priming my eyes with this NYX concealer and if you didn't see my fall makeup tutorial link it down below I explained why I'm obsessed with it so yeah look I'm going for kind of want to go for like a grungy look I guess I'll go in with my James Charles Morphe palette it's brand new I've never used it before but I guess now is a the good time to use it so I'm gonna go in maybe I will use this is it this way yeah I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with punch me weird name but yeah I'm gonna go in with that one do like a mob eye maybe I'll do like an actual shimmer on my lid I don't know then I'm gonna go in with the shade that mauve shade um, Mary I'm gonna go in with Mary I might actually grab another palette too no one says I just have to use this one I'm gonna go in with this gold shade here from the James Charles palette.
Alright, so I did my lashes and eyeliner off camera because my camera actually died. Um, I was going to film it, but it just died. So I quickly recharged it while I did that because it takes forever anyways. So I'm going to move on to skin. I already dampened my beauty sponge. I actually have this new primer I want to try. This is the LA Girl HD Correcting Face Primer. I actually use the concealer in this shade Peach to color correct my under eye area. And I saw this and I was like, let me try it out to see if maybe it's just I can use this as a primer. And I don't have to do that extra step of color correcting. And I can kind of do a two-in-one. It's very hydrating, and as you can see, it did kind of color correct. I still feel like I need to color correct though. Um, like my under eye area. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Or is it though? Here it is. So I use the LA Girl color corrector in the shade Peach, and I'm just gonna do this in my under eye. I don't know, I just like this concealer. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Usually I do a lot more, but since I put that on, I don't need that much. So I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade. What shade is this? Why don't they put it on here? Oh, it's soft beige. So I'm gonna mix this shade shit. Classic Tan and Soft Beige as my foundation today. I don't like that pump. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. It always, like, the foundation dries up on it if you don't get it all out and clean it. And it just dries up. This is definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the moment. I remember the days. I kind of want to do a video where I do full face using old, like OG products. Like, I wish they still made the NYC liquid liner. I know that. Like the L'Oreal Infallible foundation. That was like my favorite foundation for the longest. And again, like my last video, I'm going to go in my LA Girl concealer in ivory and then go over it with a much lighter, thicker foundation to get that full coverage look. I need to go get more of them all out. I remember the days when this concealer, like this is like an OG and I still use it because it's so good. No flashback, no anything. Ellie Girl did that. But I remember the days when you had to go online to order it at like, or go to beauty supply stores and they were like a dollar. Now they're like five. That's crazy. They were literally like a dollar fifty, I think, at my beauty supply store, and now they're five dollars. That's insane. The come up though, LA Girl deserves it. They're a good brand. So that's it for the concealer, and. I really need some new products, guys. Recommend me some good, like, drugstore, cream contour. I'm gonna do the same thing as my last video. Not really. I'm gonna switch it up. Do I have anything else? No. I don't. So I'm taking the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast, and I'm just gonna apply that here. always comes through 
So for the, I guess to try something new, I'm gonna use the Fit Me Maybelline um, powder, the translucent powder. It's not new, I've used it before, but like, is it my favorite? It's nice, but I don't know how it, how it looks on camera. I've never taken a flash photo with this. With the, with the airspun I have, and it looks so good, there's no flashback at all. But with this, I never have, and I think some people said there's some flashback. I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, I wanted to try the concealer, I forgot. I have one in my kitchen. I like this powder because it makes your under eyes so smooth, but I just think it's gonna have flashback. Oh no, this blends out kind of terrible. Oh. It's okay, we're gonna carve it. Guys, my air in my apartment has been like the worst ever. Um, it just started like a month ago. I don't know what happened, but it just started like not, it works, but it only heats up to like 73 and it's hot. It's summer in Texas. Like, are you kidding me? So it gets so hot in here in my room. It's like ridiculously hot right now. It's not good, but I move out in a month. So actually I move out this month. So I don't really care, but it's annoying that it's that I'm living in these conditions. You know what I mean? Hold on, let me dust this off. Well, I'm definitely gonna have flashback. I can feel it, but whatever. So yeah, I think James Charles has like a highlighter in his palette so i'm gonna use it i think i saw that he did that so it's called face so i'm gonna use face it's a cute little like subtle one i have a good vibe for tonight you know the fucking vibes let me set my face first using the morphe setting spray and then i'm gonna do my lower lashes because i don't know why but yeah It is so hot in here. This is, I'm suing. Okay. So I'm gonna keep it pretty bland under the eyes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with like a little bit of that shade under my eyes, the one that we use on the crease. And I only like to do the outer portion. I don't like to bring my um, lower lash all the way in. I don't know why. So yeah, I just put a little bit of that shade that was on my crease on the literally this part of my eyes. I don't bring it in. I don't know why, but it shrinks my eyes more when I do that and this gives it that more cat eye effect. And then I just go in with mascara. So I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in Sandstorm. Actually, I think this is the one that sucks. It's too light, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. Yeah. Too light. I'm not walking back over there. This is gonna have to do. Did nothing for me. Nothing. Anyways, I'm gonna just move on. I'm not going back up. Then I'm gonna take this new L'Oreal, is it? No, Maybelline Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade 650 Nude Embrace, and it's just a nude. I'm gonna go put on a shirt and try to fix my hair and then I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for the video. I just put this little band t-shirt on and I feel like it goes with the vibes. I feel like a little flower child because my hair is so long and with these deep waves, they're like mermaid waves. Um, and it looks super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you'll like to see next time and I'll try to get around to it. I'm trying to be more consistent, guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again.